Hi everyone. This video is going to be a basic video on milling machines and how to change the speeds on a step pulley bridge port and all the clones. Uh, now this is going to be a very basic video aimed towards my students at the community college, uh, but if it's something that you're interested in, please keep watching. Now on a step pulley bridge port, you've got eight speeds. You've got four in high range and then you've got four in low range, uh, which is also called back gear. You've got four belt positions in each range, going from the motor to the spindle. Now to actually change the belt positions, you have to undo this, and there's a slot that that rides in. It pivots on the other side. There's actually another handle just like that on the other side, but it doesn't have a slot. So you pull it forward, and then you can roll the belt onto the different pulley positions. Just roll it around until it's all the way onto one. and then go up to the next one. And you can just move up and down as much as you want. When you're done, push that back, tighten up your lever. Now right here on the bridge port, you've got your speed chart and your low range goes from 80 to 325 and your high range goes from 660 to 2720. The topmost belt position is going to be the lowest range. It's the small pulley on the motor going to the big pulley on the spindle Likewise, the lowest position is going to be your highest speed in the range, going from the big motor pulley to the small spindle pulley. You also have this chart on your, the front of your machine, and this chart's reproduced on most of the clones that I've seen, and it tells you how to change from low to high range. Currently, I'm in high speed. Now, according to this chart, it says if I want to move to low speed, I move A, which is this handle, to the side position, just like that and then move B, this handle, to the in position while moving the spindle pulley. That should put the machine in low range, back gear. Now if I want to move to high speed, the first thing I need to do is move A to the front position. Then I need to move the spindle pulley until it drops in, which is right there. And I just move that by hand. Uh, occasionally it happens to already be in the right position and it drops into mesh. If you can't move the pulley, then you're already in mesh and you don't need to do anything else. Then and only then should you move the B handle back to the out position. It's a very common mistake to move the A handle to the front and then the B handle to the out position without moving the spindle pulley and what happens then is you turn the machine on and those dog teeth that you had separated for low range uh, start grinding against each other. I'm not going to recreate that because this is my milling machine and I don't want to do that to it, but you'll know the sound when you hear it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit the like or subscribe buttons below. And please feel free to watch my other machining related videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.